Do you want an easier option for blow drying your hair? Are your arms tired from working a brush and blow dryer or perhaps you just can't get the hang of it? Well, thankfully I have an answer for that. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Summer. We're talking blowouts today. I have spent some time on my channel here giving you guys all the tips on getting fullness in your blow dries, how to make your blow dries last and so forth, but I would be lying if I said blowouts aren't exhausting. You know, I don't always wanna feel like I've just left the gym pumping iron for an hour after doing my hair, Thankfully, this is where blow dry brushes come in and are an amazing option. Today's video is sponsored by Timo and I will be using their volumizer blow dry brush to show you guys all the different ways you can use this for an easier blow dry while still maintaining fullness, bend, and movement in your hair. I also am using this on two other hair types in the salon this week to show you just how versatile this blow dry brush is. The Timo Volumizer has an 1100 watt motor giving you that power to efficiently dry your hair. It has a titanium barrel helping to give you more volume, shine, and smoothness with your blow dry mixed with both long and short bristles helping to detangle, smooth, and prevent breakage. The Timo Volumizer comes with three heat settings of high, low, and cool, and a long swivel cord to help prevent any tangles. This comes with a one-year warranty, making it a great option for anyone retailing for just $69.99. So when using this on myself, I will apply all my volume products the same as I always do. I use both a root lifter and volume mousse, and I will link some of my favorite options in the description below. I prefer to just lightly rough dry my roots with my standard hair dryer. This part is completely optional. I just find for myself and finer, more straight hair types that it just slightly kicks up the volume at the root. After I have done that, I will just section my hair per usual and start my blow dry using the Timo Volumizer. I wanna make note, I recommend using the blow dry brush with your hair decently damp still. This applies to all hair types. Essentially, the more damp your hair is, the more likely you are going to be able to get it into the shape you want. Once your hair is too dry, it will have already started forming into the shape you might be trying to avoid. So I will just go through my hair. I do like to pull up some, so I get some lift as I like to try and get more fullness in my hair and I will roll the hair down on the brush and hold into place. Before letting my section fall out from the volumizer, I will switch to their cool setting and run through my section once more, letting it rest and then let my hair fall. That part is optional, but Cooling down your section allows for your hair to take the shape even more and set in a bit more fullness in. It does add some time to your blow dry compared to not doing it, so it might only be an option for you when you have the extra time. When moving through my hair, I do like to isolate the sections. Once I get to the mid area of my head, I don't like to let my damp hair rest on my dry hair below. I feel like it just adds extra moisture or weight to my hair, so I will only let the hair out that I'm drying to prevent any of that damp hair laying on my dry hair below. The volumizer glided through my hair effortlessly. It never snagged or got stuck in my hair. Also having extensions, I appreciated that it didn't get caught in them and that I attribute to the mix of the softer bristles and the brush. I was really happy with my final look. I had some fullness, shine in my hair and it felt so soft and a blowout that did not exhaust my arms. What I also love about a blow dry brush is they are also a great way to reshape your hair on day two or throughout the rest of your week as well to get any kinks that may have happened overnight or if you are like me and sleep with your hair up in a pony. To do this, you basically take the same steps as your original blow dry, apply any dry shampoo that you might need and be sure to use a heat protectant when using on your second day. Again, I will link my favorites below and you're just gonna go through your hair to restyle. This is gonna take less time than day one. If you have a more coarse hair type than myself, you can lightly spray some water on your hair to help work out any creases or kinks better. Here is my reshaped styled hair back to looking nice and neat. And then later in the video, I will be showing you guys another option when using the Timo volumizer that is going to help you get a little more bend in your hair. I also brought this into the salon with me this week as well to try on two different hair types. My first client I use the Timo volumizer on has thinner, finer hair. I use similar volume products as I did on myself while adding in a light smoothing oil as she has slight frizz. I also use my regular blow dryer to 
to just lightly rough dry her roots like myself as her hair is on the finer side. The Tymo Volumizer glided through her hair effortlessly, same as my own, and it did a great job of smoothing out her minor frizz. It took just under half an hour to dry her hair, and while I don't recommend the Volumizer for in-salon use, I did appreciate the ease of using this as far as stress on my shoulders and arms. I was able to get her hair styled nicely. It looked great with lots of shine, and it felt equally as amazing, and she was happy with her results. On my client with more thicker wild hair, I applied a smoothing lotion and oil to help assist in the blowout. Because her hair is more coarse and wavy, I did not do any sort of rough drying as I wanted the best chance at really getting her hair as smooth as possible. The brush glided through her hair wonderfully and I would work the brush on both top and bottom of her section to get it dry evenly everywhere, making sure to really bend the brush at the ends to get them nice and smooth. Running the brush top and bottom of your section is super important. The thicker and more coarse your hair is, it's going to take a little more effort to get it dry compared to fine straight hair. I also opted on her to twist and pull the volumizer on my last pass through when removing from her hair. Um, that way it gives a little bit more bend at the end. So I would just start at the top, twist, pull down a little and continue twisting as I worked my way down her section. I like to leave the hair as is after letting out each section, waiting till the very end of the blow dry to run my hands through. I was so happy with her results. Her hair was left again with tons of shine, so sleek and smooth, a little more movement from the twisting and pulling, and it felt amazing as well. This is a common theme here. The feeling that is left in the hair afterwards is awesome. Another option when using the Tymo Volumizer for getting a little extra kick of volume or movement is to clip each section into place using either Velcro rollers or pins. This is a great option for anyone, but especially great for people with stick straight fine hair like myself if you are wanting a little more bend. I find when incorporating this option into your blow dry, you can take a little bit larger sections and you move through the hair a little bit faster. Whether you use pins or Velcro rollers, this allows your hair to fully cool into that round shape. To do this, you're going to dry your section completely with the volumizer, let your hair out of your brush, and if you are pinning into place, I like to use my fingers to wrap my hair around them and then place in my pin. If you feel that that is too difficult, use Velcro rollers. You'll let your hair out of the brush and starting at the ends of your hair, roll the Velcro roller down to your head and let it sit in place. You can use a pen to secure it more if you like. Once you have finished drying with your volumizer, pinning or rolling your hair into place, allow your last section to cool, remove all pins or Velcro rollers, and then run your hands through your hair such a nice beautiful result nice movement everywhere with still that shine and smoothness with a little bit of extra bend coming from those rollers or pins this is one of my favorite blow dry looks and it makes for a long lasting blowout you can also opt to use this method when reshaping your hair throughout your week just remember to use a heat protectant when using the volumizer on dry hair so there we have three different hair types and four different looks you can get with the Tymo Volumizer. This is why I am loving this tool and blow dry brushes in general. You can get the fullness or smoothness with your blow dry, but you're not killing your arms nearly as much. Remember, the more damp your hair is, you are going to be able to work your hair into the style you are trying to create more. You can opt to rough dry your roots a little prior to using the volumizer. Should you choose if you want a little more lift, use those Velcro rollers or pins if you are trying to create a little bit more bend and twisting the hair through the brush as you pull out is a great way to add that extra movement as well. Don't forget you can use the volumizer also throughout your week to reshape, but be sure to use a heat protectant when reshaping to prevent excess heat damage and you will be able to rock an awesome blowout all week long. The Tymo volumizer will be linked in the description along with an exclusive discount. I recommend checking it out for yourself. This is an awesome blow dry brush for a really great price at just $69.99. I really truly am so happy with its performance performance and I would not be recommending if I didn't feel it did a great job. All other styling products used in today's video will be linked below as well. I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.